So I'm walking into Rees. And just opposite is the church, the Lees, which I'm going to go and check out next, and then a short walk in the village. So here's the church entrance. I think this is the main entrance. Oh, there's a sign. I think that tends to say that this was came from 1047. My first target for images was the village church, imposing structure dating from the 12th century, and these images all shot with the X-T2, with the 16-55 lens, choosing subjects that, in my view, fitted the location. You notice the ornate tombs, the Romanesque-style church built in the 12th century. Um, light here was flat with uh, little in the way of um, defining um, directional light but still at least without the really harsh direct sunlight uh, it allowed the um, colours to saturate well. Um, I'm trying to you know give a bit of detail on the actual church itself which is a substantial structure and clearly would have been the heart of village life throughout the centuries um, sadly, no access was was possible. Um, the first set of pictures were all taken with the X-T2, my digital camera, which I had only brought two lenses for, as I said, the 16 to 55 and 12 millimeter for super wide captures, which I knew I might have to use. Um, I then also switched to my C-Cycle Netta, which is a uh, 6x6 six six folding camera dating from the early 1950s, so it has a coated lens, loaded in this case with Fomapan 200 film um, from the Czech Republic. And this film is capable of really good results. It has that classic grainy black and white film look. There are a few disadvantages in this case, uh, some effects of using um, a camera dating from this period where um, there was a bit of light leakage and some double exposures so um, uh, we lost a few shots but the difference in style between the digital and these pictures which were developed in Atomal um, show that kind of grittiness that you don't get with digital unless you employ a lot of filters. I've also applied a slight sepia tone here to give that sense and I think in many ways they suit this type of subject really well. Um, but what do you think? How do the digital and the analogue photos stack up together? Let me know in the comments below um, and while you're at it we'd love to, to have you subscribe. So next part is the shots taken at the village itself. I'm walking into Rees, I'm going to call it that for now, I don't know the correct pronunciation. Um, I'm going to see what, it's, what here, it looks like some modernish houses in front, a little stream and a beautiful house to my right, see if I can get a photo of that. I'll show you. So this I think, this I think would be a typical Norman house really has that classical sort of architecture. Looks like it's been quite sympathetically uh, restored rather than over overdone. Sometimes the French go a bit far with these things. But, hey, well, what am I to say? Behind me you see a feature which you don't often see in British villages which is uh, this back along uh, days before electricity and pumped paint water village uh, washing area so certainly laundry possibly uh, bathing um, this one I think has been restored it's got a beautiful elegant roof um, you can hear the water coming in and I'll, I'll show it in a bit um, it's kind of nice to see that they're keeping these even though they're 
no longer required. So I'll flip you around. Hear the trickle of the flowing water coming out. I'll just go inside. You can see the bricks, which are all labelled. So the water is clear ish, and the gas is coming in for a pipe somewhere from the stream. I discarded that plant or chucked it away. Oh, I think that was a, a fish. Anyway. The Chateau de Riers is, looks like a school or something up there. I certainly think they're teaching them cycling by the looks of it, all in high disease and the thing. Chateaus, I guess, may or may not be open to the public, but I'm not going to venture that far. So there we have something I've never seen in the world until now, and that is the new Citroen Amy which is a city car that I think in many ways should be starting a revolution if uh, car manufacturers will let us have them um, or something like that for cheap economical uh, completely uh, renewable energy come on car manufacturers some absolutely splendid French houses yeah, I think this would have been a well-to-do place. So in the centre of Rees, Mayor, Mayor Ridge, Mayor's offices, Town Hall to the right with the flags. And uh, it's a bigger village than I first thought. We're in the heart of the village now. The restaurant is just over there to the right. And on, over here is what looks like a very imposing building. Rue Guillaume Le Conqueror and William the Conqueror. And there's a connection to the Duke of Normandy, later King William of William the First. And that looks like that's under restoration, that house. Very grand it is too.
clump of wood again I think uh, for Ramadal orchids we'll check when we get home good to see the variety of wildflowers in here you can see from the seed pods and the grasses they don't overly uh, control this there's a nice little ditch which is nearby so moisture for those moisture loving plants and there's the common oxide daisy figwort and uh, some fumatories so good place congrats french uh, council or farmer whichever is in control of looking after this my final thoughts on Rees as a village and the images I was able to make using both my HT2 and uh, Zycyc and Meta. Um, overall, I'm happy enough with the images. Most are simply a record of what was there. Two or three are perhaps a little above that. I particularly enjoy um, the sunset one of the church and the Zeiss image of the uh, newly combined hay field and one of the gardens in the village and perhaps one of the um, more close-up studies of uh, a barred and shuttered window. Overall plenty to photograph in a place like this. It's a um, wonderful church and I can imagine the interior would be very interesting and lots of interesting stone buildings and history to go along with it that you could illustrate. So it's the sort of place that would be well worth um, and explore and also the surroundings um, you can see that the images where I came back the bonus images were shot later in the day and I had the benefit of a better quality of light more directional um, and that is something you can't always have so I think I made the best of the circumstances I enjoyed my visit to Rees keep on watching for more vlogs from Normandy thanks for watching bye now